This is Contractor Sense with Ruth King. Welcome to Contractor Sense. Here you discover ideas, tactics, news, and information that matters to your contracting business and you. I'm your host, Ruth King. This episode is sponsored by Profitability Movement. Google Profitability Dash Movement to join this community of business owners focused on building profit, increasing wealth, and giving back. Thank you for joining us. Here is how we will help your business and you today. Happy Thanksgiving. This Thursday, November 24th, we celebrate Thanksgiving in the United States. For you listeners in Canada, you celebrated Thanksgiving in October. For those in other areas of the world, you might not formally celebrate a day to give thanks, but what if you did? Spend the day giving thanks for your family, your employees, your gifts to the world. This year, I got a huge surprise thank you. 20 years ago, Gwen Hosnick and I were sitting at breakfast before the AHR trade show, complaining that there were no women in the HVAC industry. This was 2002. We decided to do something about it. Gwen was the marketing director for contracting business at the time. And we started Women in HVACR with a panel discussion at Comfort Tech. Fast forward 20 years and we have over 900 members and still growing. Yes, men are members too. They support women in our industry. At our annual conference this year, I was presented surprised with the Visionary Guidance and Leadership Award. Really, really cool. One of our missions is to help get women into our industry by providing scholarships to attend school. I started an endowment fund this year so that we never have to worry about awarding scholarships in good economic times and bad. So if this podcast has been helpful for you and has helped you, please consider helping others. Donate to our endowment fund. Just go to www.womeninhvacr.org forward slash endowment. That's www.womeninhvacr.org forward slash endowment, E-N-D-O-W-M-E-N-T. So thanks to all of you for helping to get women into our industry. Now more thank yous. I am so grateful for all of you. Thank you for listening to this Contractor Sense podcast. We will be five years old in the spring. You've come up with ideas. You've said I've helped you. And it's been it's been really, really cool to listen to you saying thank you about you know things that have, you've done in your businesses as a result of listening and implementing some of the things that our guests have shared. You know, whether it's been a good or a bad year for you, this year's over in a few weeks. And we get to start a new year. And it's like your PL, you know I have to bring financials into this. It starts over. However, like your balance sheet, we will remember this year forever. As 2022 winds down, it's natural to think about the past year, what has worked and what hasn't worked, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Thanksgiving Day this Thursday is a day to reflect and give thanks to those who have helped us and supported us this year, past years, and throughout our lives. So some thank yous might go to our customers and clients. These individuals write your paychecks. They believe in you, they trust you, and they continue to do business with you. Without them, you would not have a business. Thank you to your employees who work with you. Notice I said work with you not for you. They take care of the customers, your customers who write your paychecks. Thank you to your family and friends. They keep you grounded and sane in the crazy world in which we live. They love you, support you, and listen to you in good times and bad. And thank you to your mentors. They help you get where you want to go, encourage you, tell you things you may not want to hear, but need to hear, and you help them too. Finally, thank you to God. This is the one time of year that I bring my religious beliefs into the Contractor Sense podcast. Some days when Murphy decides that he's going to win and we can't wait until the day is over, we wonder why we're in this business, me included. Everything that happens, happens for a reason. On most days, we enjoy what we do. We are doing good things for our customers, our employees, and our communities. Feel good about it. 
and give thanks to God for all he has given us, the good, the challenging, and the ability to learn and grow from the trials and tribulations we experience personally and professionally. My thanks to all of you. Have a great and phenomenal Turkey Day.